What's up, guys? Joe at Momentum Watch. Today, we are back with part two of our Burramax build series. Stay tuned. So in part one of our upgrade series, we talked about upgrading the controllers in the Burramax TT1600R bikes. If you haven't seen that video, I will leave the link below. It might be best to start with the controller video. This video is all about motor and battery. So we upgraded the motors and batteries in these bikes to see what the best result would be. From the factory, you've got a 52 volt battery and a 1600 watt motor. Uh, we've tried a 72 volt battery and a couple other 52 volt batteries. And then we've also got two different motor options that we're gonna explore today. The two motor options that we have are both from Soshin. We did the FW11 and the FW11 Mini. The FW11 is a very popular replacement for the My1020 frame size motors. That's what fits in all of your razors and majority of your mainstream e-bikes. The problem with that motor is that the Burramax swing arm is a little bit more narrow, so you can't put a My1020 in it. And we're going to show you how we got around that today. So guys, here's our Burramax TT1600R. And if you look at the rear swing arm, something looks a little different. And I'm not talking about my drift charm cookie there that we put in the drill press. The motor itself, you can see, is hanging below the swing arm instead of setting in the swing arm. Let me throw up a side-by-side -side here so you can see what it's supposed to look like. And now you can see that we have put this motor here. And you might ask yourself, why is the motor sitting down below? And that's because it does not fit in the existing swing arm. Let's take a quicker look. What we have here is the stock Burramax motor and the My1020. I don't even have to pull out the measuring tape and you can tell that this is more narrow than this, but for the sake of argument or for the sake of science, let's take a measurement. So in the stock Burramax, we've got 120 millimeters length. And we've got 134 on the My1020, which means that the way that this motor mounts, and let's turn it over, you can see it's got these bolt holes here because it mounts on the side of the frame. So this sits in and pretend my hands are the sides of the, the swing arm of the frame. That's where it mounts. So we won't be able to put a larger motor in here. And that is exactly why we made this custom low mount swing arm. Let's jump back to the swing arm. So what we have here is a stock Burramax swing arm. We've got our stock Burramax motor. And like I said, this just goes right in here. It fits nice and flush. It's right inside. You put your bolts into the bracket and everything is happy. In order to fit a larger motor, what we did is we fabricated this bracket onto a stock Burramax swing arm. So you can slide your motor in, put on this motor plate, and then you can hold a larger motor like the My1020. Another closer look. So the bracket, one side is actually welded onto the swing arm. We do that in-house. And then the other side has this bracket. I'm sorry, I'm backwards. This bracket that uses the existing Burramax mounting bolt, you can see in there, to hang the motor below the frame so that you can run a larger and wider, more powerful motor on your Burramax. So I've got the bike up on the stand here so we can get a closer look. There's that bolt on plate. You see the motor hangs down. And we were originally afraid that the motor was going to hang too low, but we've been riding this thing for a couple months now. And it has not been an issue. So normally your motor would be in here in between the swing arm, but for the larger motor here, we dropped it down and then we have our wires running up. All right, guys, let's talk about performance differences. So what we have here is what I'm going to consider the prime form. Of course, my engine case is falling off because we're always taking shit apart. But this is what I call the prime form of the Burramax TT1600R, at least as far as we've gotten thus far. So what we have here is we have the Momentum Works modified stock swing arm with the Socian FW11 all available on our website. We've got the Momentum Watts 72 volt battery, and that's 100 amp. 20 amp hour battery. And then we're running the Soshin 72300, very similar to the Far Driver 72300 controller. As far as settings, we have this set up at 72 volts. We're running 100 uh, line and we're on 300 phase, and it runs pretty good. Motor gets a little hot if you run it for a really long time, but for the most part, it's pretty good. So we all know stock Burramax does about 30, 32 miles an hour. This bike, we've had over 60 miles an hour with this setup, which is super impressive for such a little bike, and drivability is great. Great throttle control or throttle response. It's really easy to wheelie and stunt. 
it's just a lot of fun to ride. So if you want to upgrade the motor on your Burmax, this is the way I would go. Let's talk about some of the setups we tried before we got to this point. Uh, I can speak a little bit to that because even though I think this is the prime form of the TT1600R, there's other combinations that you might want to try. So I'll give you my feedback on them because we have tried quite a bit. Originally, like I said, the Burmax comes with a 52 volt uh, battery and a 1600 watt motor. We ran a 72 volt battery on the stock motor with a controller and it worked really well. I ran this setup for months. I didn't have any issues until I took it through some really muddy trails down a train track and I really overheated the motor and the stock Burmax motor does not have a temp sensor. So the motor got really hot, I overheated it and took it. With the Sosa motor or a couple other motors, they have a six pin on the hall sensor, which is for heat. Uh, so if the motor starts to get really hot, it'll one, put you into limp mode. And then if you keep getting it hot while it's in limp mode, eventually it'll just cut power so you don't hurt the motor. If I would have had that on the Burmax motor, I would have saved it. But like I said, if you want to run 72 volts on the stock Burmax motor with a good controller, that'll certainly work. But if you just want to upgrade your motor, so say you want to put an FW11 with a 52 volt battery, I would not recommend that. You're not going to be able to make that social motor really, you can't take advantage of what that motor does with the stock 52 volt battery. So here, okay, let's do a quick chart. 72 volt with stock motor, good. 72 volt with social motor, gooder. 52 volt battery with social motor, no. I mean, you can do it if you really want to, but you're not going to make a ton of power. Um, they're really the combos we did. Now, let's talk about one other motor option like I talked about earlier today. I talked about the FW11 Mini. Now, the FW11 Mini is small enough that it fits in the stock swing arm without doing any modification, which we thought would be great, but we ran into some pitfalls, and let's talk about it. Earlier in the video, we talked about the My1020, which is the same size as the FW11, same frame size. Mm -hmm. We have our FW11, we have our stock TT1600, which is obviously smaller than the FW11. Then we have the FW11 Mini, which is smaller than the Buramax. So you say, Joe, why not just use the FW11 Mini and put it in the stock Buramax with a 35 millimeter spacer? Well, we did do that, and it fits fantastic. You don't have to modify the swing arm at all. The problem is, is even though this motor is rated at 2,500 watts, and this motor is rated at 5,000 watts, I turn this motor, you know, 15,000 watts, no issue. If you put any more than 2,500 watts to this motor, it just does not dance. So realistically, yes, you can put this motor in your Buramax, but it's not going to do any any better than your other Buramax, than your stock Buramax. And granted, this is a 1600, and this is 2500 watts. You can push this way past 1600. I pushed the stock motor to like 7000 watts, and like I said, I never had any issues until I overheated it when it was cooked in mud. So we talked about the FW11 Mini. This bike here has the FW11 Mini installed, and you can see all the factory Buramax mounting plates work. And let's take a look over here. And I know it's a 35 millimeter spacer. Yes, I don't have it in here because I just threw it in for the video. Look at all the space you have here. You'd run a 35 millimeter spacer here, which we did. And it fits really well. It uses the factory Buramax mounting motors. But the problem is with this motor only being valid at 2,500 watts, you can put it in. It does work, but it's basically only going to do what your stock Buramax motor would do. So Yes, it fits. Yes, you can use it, but you're really not doing yourself any favors by running the FW11 Mini, unfortunately. But I can tell you this motor gives you really good torque with the 72300 controller and the stock 52 volt battery. This bike became so easy to wheelie, it's not even funny. You would just get it up on a wheelie and it would just sit there. It was almost too easy. One last thing, just to touch on batteries. I know this is supposed to be a motor and battery video. Batteries are pretty straightforward, guys. The hardest thing is actually getting one because they're so, you know, not available these days. Um, as far as battery dimensions, we have one that fits really well in the stock tray. You have to modify the top of the metal bracket a little bit, which is no big deal, and you have to cut some plastic. Otherwise, it sits perfect. We'd love for you to use our 72-volt battery, but you are free to use any 72-volt battery you want. Just make sure you get one with good specs. You want to look at your amps. You want to look at your amp hours. Those things are important. Um, amps, you know, I would say 100 amp minimum and amp hours, 20 amp, 20 amp hour. I'll do it for you unless you're real hardcore. The larger amps and the larger amp hour you go, the larger battery you're going to end up with. And it's going to be harder to fit it in. 100 amp, 20 AH in the right shape, we've realized works really well with these bikes. So let's wrap it up here. 
as far as what all we've talked about today, we talked about different motor options. We talked about different batteries. We talked about what setups work best. And like I said, I think the 72 volt battery with the Sosha motor and a 72 300 controller, that is superb. Could you go bigger? Sure. Do you really want to go faster than 60 miles an hour on a kid's toy? That's your own prerogative. Guys, I really hope that the FW11 motor, um, FW11 Mini, we had high hopes considering we knew it would fit in the stock swing arm. It was going to work, and it just didn't. Like I said, if you need it, you know, you want stock power and you just want more torque and drivability uh, with a tunable controller, absolutely go for the FW11 Mini. But if you're looking for big power, the FW11, or if you want to try a, some other sort of My 1020 motor, the only way you're going to do it right now is with this swing arm. You can modify it yourself or you could save yourself the hassle because we've already engineered it and modified it here. The swing arm bolts on exactly the same as the stock swing arm. We use a stock swing arm for that reason. Um, shock mount's the same. Frame nut's the same. The rear wheel dropouts are the same. The only thing is different uh, is we modified those motor mounts. So, guys, I think this platform is getting great. I know there's not a ton of guys out there modding these, so we're really kind of doing our best to crank these out. If you're looking for any of these parts, we sell them all on our website. We'll even kit it out with a throttle and a voltmeter. We'll do the whole nine for you. So it's basically a drop-in bolt-on setup, except for modifying your battery tray, which you have to do. Guys, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. I will leave my email right here. We enter emails all the time. So if you have a question or want to make a purchase, you can shoot us an email. Or if you're ready to buy, go directly to MomentumWatch.com. And you can place an order for these parts. Guys, thanks for watching. We'll come out with uh, more stuff as we know, but I think we're going to wrap this series up as far as performance upgrades for the Buramax. Electric bikes don't really have too much to them. Battery, motor, controller. And we've talked about all those things. So until we come up with something faster and better, we'll see you around. Thanks, guys.